Yeah. Got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Cat Williams came out and said something <coughs> about uh, Oprah's friend, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, I heard um, Oprah and, and Weinstein was pretty close. Pretty tight. Good friends. Yeah, check out what Cat Williams had to say about him. Cancel me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get there. <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. Everybody in Hollywood, especially if you black, you bought and paid for. Yeah. Except for, uh, it's, there's a few exceptions. I think Denzel, definitely Samuel Jackson's not bought. The way he curses. You could just take one look at it. Well, him. have you ever heard Samuel Jackson speak out about something politically? I don't, well, I've never heard anything Denzel come out. They stay away What's from talking him. about Denzel comes straight down the line. No, he don't. He don't come out. Yeah, Denzel be preaching accountability yeah. and responsibility. Yeah. That's the message he always preaches. Yeah, yeah, but he And what is the Democrat message? Well, they don't preach up. responsibility and accountability. Of course. It's but, always somebody else's fault. Hey, can I say something? But Denzel is smart. He's not going to alienate himself from Hollywood. If he says something that's remotely conservative, he's done. He says he says some, he says some awesome things. But uh, he could come from a liberal perspective or a conservative perspective. He okay. comes, like, right down the middle. What's that one quote he said? If you listen to the news, if you don't listen to the news, you're uninformed. When you listen to the news, you're misinformed. That could go either way. But for him to say some shit like that, I think he's a conservative. Well, you bring up, uh, what's his face? Samuel Jackson? Yeah, he's a he, he he's a Trump hater. You don't yeah. like Trump? I don't believe that. He's probably do he's probably auditioning for some old roles. <laughs> you know they do that in Hollywood. What? Like Cat Williams putting out. Some dudes get have to uh, get sucked off or suck somebody off. Mm -hmm. Or you gotta say certain things. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I'm, I, it's the only reason why I bring it up is because you said what you said about Samuel Jackson. He ain't yeah. bought and paid for. I think everybody in Hollywood is bought and paid for. If you don't, um, if you don't align with their views yeah. politically, they will shut your career down. I really believe that. And the only way they can't shut you down is if you got resources outside of that liberal network. Yeah, but the, yeah, when when Samuel Jackson says things, I think he truly doesn't. You know, he he doesn't like Trump for the things he said. You know, I don't think anybody paid him anything. Like Denzel, he hasn't touched it. Any people that's openly just bashing somebody over and over and over, and it doesn't make any sense, it's without reason or logic. Oh, they're getting it's paid. Or oh, they definitely getting paid. Like Melissa Milano. Definitely irrational. She can't be that stupid. What's the other guy? We just saw a video of him. He made that movie, Stand By Me. Um, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman didn't make Stand By Me. <laughs> he was dude. We just saw him on TikTok. He was talking crazy. He said Trump wins is a threat against democracy. Oh, what's his name? What's that fool's name? He was in that show with Archie Bunker. I forget his name. Yeah, what's his name? Stein something. Oh, he's a Jew, huh? Uh, he might be. I don't know. <laughs> if he got Stein, then that's a Jew. What? You remember? What's his name? I can't remember his name. What's his name? I don't know. Just call him Jew Boy. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking See, about. See, the producer know what we're talking about. Yeah, he know what we're talking what's about. What's his name? Stein something? He's, he's on Twitter. White dude. Oh, up in years now. Yeah, he woke, too. I yeah, know exactly he's woke, woke and stupid. He's about as woke and stupid as Roseanne. I mean, as um, as uh, as a Ro who? As uh, what's that girl? Those man, damn man, I got Joe Biden. In <laughs> I can't remember nothing. <laughs> what's that, Rose O'Donnell? Oh, he's about as woke as her. No, I think he's woker than her. Yeah. What's his name? So what's his name? Rob, Rob Reiner. Reiner. Yeah. Okay, so he's not Jewish. You sure? Reiner is not Jewish. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, though. I think it does. Yeah, but uh, Cat Williams, man, that dude's never been a person like to hold his tongue, bite his own tongue. Yeah. 
You can see the full in- interview on the Club Shay Shay, I think it is. Who gives a shit? Well, he's talking about everybody. He he died. He 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 talked trash about every black comedian in Hollywood. Yeah, I, like I haven't that. watched the whole thing. I haven't, he have not said anything against Dave Chappelle. No, no, Dave's not. Anyway, well, I could totally see Oprah's friends asking to suck somebody off. I thought he was in a woman. Man, that dude's a freak. All those people in Hollywood, they're like, they they sick. They're like sick on this power, and they just you, dude's probably not even gay. Yeah. No, I'm gonna suck you off. No, that's he's the, and he's gay and, and he's Jewish. What's his name? Weinstein. Yeah, that's Jewish, right? Well, that sounds pretty gay to me. You no, no, no. See, it's off? a power thing. No, it would be a power no, no, thing no, no. if he made Cat suck him off. That's a power move. But him sucking Cat, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> but still a power move, cause no, he's no like, look, if you don't let me suck you off, off. You a, that's a power move sucking a dude off. No, if you don't, that's a power move when a woman does it. No, she look. can control and manipulate. But a dude suck me off, that ain't powerful. That's just gay. No, but think about it. If I don't suck you off, you don't get the uh you don't get the roll. Unless I'm sucking you off. And that way you gotta bust. You don't get the roll. So you gotta like it. That it is a power move. You gotta look at it from a gay perspective. You know, gay people have a distorted view on things. Yeah, that's true. Show's over. So it's crazy. I hope Cat's got plenty of bodyguards and home security. Man, he good, man. Hey, no, no, man. They, I'm gonna pay hey, the show's over. Gonna, this, he's gonna just gonna cut it off. They're gonna try to blackball him, man. They're gonna, they gonna blackball Cat, man. Nah, Cat's unblackballable. Yeah, that's right. He already got 12 special. We'll hey, the blackball. Hey, we got a new giveaway going. We give away a Ford F350 and 10000 in cash to enter the win. Go to fishhogstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically into the win. Yeah. Yeah, just cut.